Business leader Walter Hackborn's decades-long commitment to community and to Canada's hardware industry has a legacy that endures far beyond dollars and cents. Walter set the tone. So everything flowed out of Walter's beliefs and, and Walter's character and, and the way he did business. Walter was always present. If you were working in the warehouse and it was busy, he would be out there on a Saturday shift uh, working overtime. He shakes your hand, he looks you in the eyes, and he connects with you. Walter grew up in St. Jacobs, Ontario, next to the town hardware store where he learned his trade. In 1950, Walter and his partners acquired the business, and in the following decades, as large retailers moved in, over 1,000 independent hardware stores were closed. It is in this turbulent atmosphere that Walter's vision of dealer-owned operations took hold. In 1964, 122 dealers banded together to form what would later become Home Hardware. They were all independents, which was the, the vision that Walter had, was to give all these independents a buying power and a distribution power. It was a new model for the days because you were eliminating the wholesaler. It was, it was like a co-op, but not quite like a co-op. We started out as a buying group, basically, to be able to buy more competitively. But I think he quickly saw that he was onto something and this could be so much more. Walter and his team built home hardware into a national force, more than just a wholesaler, a national retail competitor. Now just imagine, you've got retailers from coast to coast in all kinds of markets, and yet he decided we're gonna build a consistent brand across the country. Walter's intention right from the get-go was to help the independent dealers to succeed, and and back then, whatever it took to help our dealers, uh, we worked at it. So 122 dealers soon grew to, to 350, and now we're close to 1,100 uh, stores. Walter spearheaded the construction of a state-of-the-art distribution facility, transportation division, paint manufacturing, lumber, and furniture wholesaling, all inspired by innovation and incorporating the newest technology. He built a culture of innovation that uh, that you were proud to work here. You know, it's hard to say that you you put on the red jacket and you and you wear it proudly without sounding a bit corny. But the truth of the matter is that this red jacket stands for something. You know, it stands for value and integrity and honesty and good business. And when I put it on, I feel as though I'm representing that. Over the decades and endless regional meetings, trade shows and company events, Walter's personal trademark was very well known. You know, Walter and his bow tie. His bow tie. Walter's always got that bow tie. He always told the story about when he got started in the industry. His long tie would get into the oils and the dirt and he always had a dirty tie. Could get caught up in machinery so he was told uh, very early on uh, to wear a, a bow tie and uh, he stuck with it. Seeing him in that bow tie is just a reminder of how you stick to what you're good at. Walter and his wife contributed to their community through their church, hospital, and local university. But perhaps no contribution was quite as great as what was achieved through the home hardware family. He has had a huge impact on Canada. If you think about me and my little store, and my family, and my 30 employees, and their families, and all the people who live in this community who have come to our pancake breakfast and benefited from our donation to the hospital. We've got 1,100 of those stores across the country. Walter has impacted so many people. At age 93, Walter has yet to make it to full retirement and remains steadfastly committed to the company. Retail is, you know, a, a tough business. It's a relentless, brutal process of, of execution day in, day out. What I admire about Walter is that he was this kind, considerate man, and yet had the steel and the gumption to fight big battles against big competitors. I think with Walter, like any entrepreneur, is that he didn't see any limits to the possibilities. What he's managed to do is, is grow a team of people who can carry on his culture and can carry on his vision. It really makes you reflect on how you view success. He's done so much for so many people and yet he's asked for so little in return. 
please help to welcome into the Canadian Business Hall of Fame 2015 Companion to the Order, Walter Hackborn.